All right, what's going on guys? So it's morning time. I'm getting ready to go on a ruck march as part of my own uh, fitness program. And I'm getting ready to make some breakfast and eat that before I head out. Um, I'm planning on getting in about 10 miles or so today. And I figured I'd take the opportunity to show you guys what I'm gonna make, how to make it, and also the nutritional value and macro breakdown of the meal itself so that you guys can use this um, if you feel so inclined. All right, so this is the kind of waffle uh, slash pancake mix that I like to use. There's a lot of uh, protein mixes out there, but this to me just tastes the best and it has the best ingredients that I've been able to find so far. It's uh, birch benders. It's the regular uh, 16 gram protein mix and it just tastes really good. It mixes really well and actually comes out like, like actual waffles or actual pancakes. Some of the mixes out there don't come out uh, tasting that way. So this is, this is pretty good stuff. You can get this on Amazon. I'll drop the link on the bottom. It calls for half a cup uh, for one serving, but I'm gonna go ahead and do two because we're gonna do two servings. And I don't go crazy with my measurements, really. I try to get like kind of right, but honestly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put everything into this little mixing jar that I have, and then that'll also be my little mixing bowl for my um, waffle concoction. Skim milk that I like to add to it. So I've got a cup of the mix, so I'm gonna put about mm, like three fourths a cup of milk so maybe like that old-fashioned oats i add these into a lot of things um i add these into a lot of like my daily recipes but especially in the morning time i'm just gonna put like a half a cup of this in there and these are just the regular oats you know the cheap oats you can find some raisins just regular old raisins i'm gonna put about you know maybe a little handful in there about a fourth of a cup just for some extra uh, healthy carbs and fiber Okay, and then the uh, pumpkin, the pure pumpkin. So a lot of people don't realize you can get this um, in the canned vegetable aisle. Um, but this stuff's awesome, man. It tastes really good. You can put it into a lot of different things. Oh, this one even has the uh, peel can. I almost didn't see that. That's awesome. So, And then uh, the, it's got tons of potassium in it, which is great. It's hard to find foods with a lot of potassium that's actually good. And it's got a lot of fiber. And it doesn't really have a whole lot of much else. So it just tastes really good. And it's got the perfect ingredients in it to help you uh, recover. So definitely start adding some pumpkin into your diet. Um, this this will help you out a lot. Sweet, I love the peel cans, man. It's so much easier. Put about a fourth a cup in there, like that. It's about a fourth a cup, right? Close enough. All right, and then last but not least, another thing that I think you should start uh, looking into putting into as many things as possible is cocoa powder, okay? So not very many calories, doesn't have any sugar in it, it's not like chocolate, um, but it does have tons of potassium for such, a, for such a little thing. It's got tons of potassium in there and it's got two grams of fiber per tablespoon, okay? So that's awesome, you know, when you're trying to build and you're taking in a lot of protein or you're just taking in a lot of food in general, you know, I'm probably taking in about 4,000 calories. I'm taking in more than 4,000 calories right now per day uh, on my build program. You know, that's a lot of calories to be taking in during the day. Um, so you have to make sure that you have enough fiber uh, to help, you know, everything <laughs> digest smoothly throughout the body. That can be a big challenge sometimes is making sure that you get enough fiber, especially when you're on a diet where you're just trying to put things together real quick. You gotta find quick, easy ways to get in some good fiber. And this is another good way to do that. Just start adding the cocoa powder into your diet and, and get the uh, special dark kind, okay? Cause it's got a little bit more uh, potassium in there for you. And that's just gonna help with recovery as well. So we're gonna add about one tablespoon. All right, and we're gonna mix it all up. Oh shit, already making a mess. Wife's gonna be pissed. And my handy dandy waffle maker. It's probably like three years old. Should probably get a new one soon, but it still works. I don't clean this thing enough either. It just it preserves the flavor. Alright, this is full. Alright, then we let let me let those cook. Oh, hey, what's Morning. going on, babe? Oh, Morning, babe. I'm showing people how to make my waffles oh, that I make. Awesome. Let them see this the is dirty this thing. is my camera person. The person when I'm not holding the camera, it's usually this one right here. It's the wife. Don't worry, I'm not making a mess. I'll clean it up. Yeah, right. 
And that's how they're gonna come out. So they look like brown, but they're not burnt or anything. It's just because I put the cocoa powder in there, so they're gonna have like a little bit of a chocolatey flavor to them. But these things are freaking bomb, man. They taste awesome. You get two huge waffles, and then you're gonna top it off with some, uh, don't use regular syrup, because it's just, just, you know, really bad for you, too much sugar. Um, you can find this uh, low calorie sugar-free syrup. Uh, a lot of different people make it. I like the curries, just think it tastes the best. But I mean, it's pretty much got no calories. So this is just almost like a freebie here. So you can douse it with as much syrup as you like. You can put a little butter on there. I don't prefer any butter, but you can put a little butter on there, whatever you do. But these are like the healthiest waffles you're gonna be able to make. And it only took me maybe 10 minutes to make these bad boys. It'd be even faster if I wasn't trying to record the whole time. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I'm getting ready to eat this now. And uh, as far as the uh, nutritional and macro breakdown goes, you're looking at a total of 44 grams of protein, 94 grams of carbs, and a little less than six grams of fat for a total of 600 calories. And that's for these two massive waffles right here okay so obviously for somebody who is taking in four thousand calories a day i'm gonna need to eat a lot more but this is honestly like the perfect little snack before i move out on my ruck um and this will work for anybody i mean whether you're trying to gain or if you're trying to maintain muscle or you're trying to lose weight like this is this is a pretty good macro breakdown meal um to help you do that and you still get to feel like you're like you're having yourself some waffles and having a treat you know what i mean so it's a pretty good thing to start getting used to doing. Um, again, uh, a lot of the ingredients you should be able to find at your local grocery stores, but I, I know for a fact you can find some of the harder to find items on Amazon. So I'll drop the links at the bottom and they're probably gonna be cheaper on there too. So I would just go ahead and do that. I have a lot of secret recipes like this. So I'll keep making videos for you guys that shows some, uh, you know, some high speed you know, perfect macro meals that are easy to put together on the go um, so that you guys can have an idea on what you should be doing. If you guys are into this kind of thing, um, all things fitness, nutrition, uh, military career enhancement, information about military schools, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Besides that, that's all I got. I'll see you on the next one.